The current tech market is absolutely atrocious. There's so many people who need jobs, but there's not a lot of jobs available. You've been at the job market for some time. You're either a new grad or a boot camp grab, and it's been, well, more than a few months. So you start questioning, is it your resume? Are your referrals not going through? Is it just the skill sets not appropriate for this job market? And in this video, I wanna see what programming language has the most jobs available in the current tech market. So here you can see on my screen, I have a very advanced breakdown of a few languages here javascript python php c sharp kotlin go and rust now i know there's a lot more languages than that but these seem to be always the kind of top of the top everyone talks about these how many jobs are available i've added a few long-term languages i've added a few older languages i've added a few newer languages just to see where should you be investing your skills if you want the highest probability of getting a job and for the source of the second common number of job postings, we're going to rely on Indeed dot com now, there's a few things i'm gonna bring up before we dive into the numbers one indeed is just one source and all of these are just numbers based in the united states it's not a representation of the global job market what's happening in the united states is very different than what's happening in asia and europe secondly all because a job has more postings doesn't necessarily mean your chances are higher because there's going to be a lot more people applying too you may still have a good chance of landing a job but let's go right into the numbers real quick so the first programming language we're going to look at is JavaScript. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, well, what about TypeScript? What about JavaScript? What I'm going to do for you is I'm going to search both. I will take the highest value between JavaScript and TypeScript because they shouldn't really be different at all. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put in Java. Ooh, Java. Div I forgot Java. We need to add Java right now. A Java. All right, so instead of Java developer, which you get to the end of the video, so stick around, let's go JavaScript developer. And you can see that for JavaScript, we have 17,648. So we'll put 17K. And let's see if I just change this from a JavaScript to TypeScript, because that's all the cool kids are doing, and do the exact same search, it's 5,000. So we'll take the higher one, we'll keep 17,000 for JavaScript. Let's move on to Python. Everyone knows Python, everybody likes Python, right? You can see here that 19,112 people also very much enjoy Python. All right, so if you just pause here for a second, these are obviously expected. I mean, if you didn't know that JavaScript and Python would be two of the jobs that have the most availability, then you're kind of living under a rock. I mean, these have been around and extremely popular for a while. Everybody uses JavaScript if you're a front-end developer, web developer, and Python the back-end just makes a lot of sense. It's easy to use. So these numbers don't necessarily surprise me. I mean, they're gonna be the most, if you wanna go and, you know, optimize your chances, do a bootcamp for one of these two languages, you will more than likely find a job, even though, like I said earlier at the beginning of the video, there's gonna be more people applying. It's it's a safe bet. I mean, these two are just safe languages, but what about these six remaining older languages that are reliable? New ones are coming in. So like I always say here, make sure you don't do too much PHP in the morning, you know, just do a couple lines here and there, but let's see, PHP developer, 2,679 jobs when i first saw this value i actually was quite surprised i thought there'd be a lot more php jobs everyone says if you're a php developer it powers this much of the internet yeah yeah, yeah we all know it is it on a decline finally is php finally gonna die gotta watch out there's gonna be php devs in the comment section below now defend me help me out let's go to everyone's favorite c sharp developer how many jobs are here Seventeen thousand eight hundred eighty-one. that is actually a lot now it might be just because i may not be well versed in the c sharp space but the fact that this is on par with JavaScript's and Python in this market, that's absolutely incredible. Well, wow, look at this. Software engineer, senior, up to 7,500 sign-on bonus. Awesome. Lockheed Martin. Oof. Okay. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> All right. Let's check out a different language, Kotlin. Kotlin seems to be the you know, new Android application language. Let's see how many Kotlin developer jobs are there. 774. <coughs> Just, just talking about the numbers, I don't care if Colin's the best. I don't care what DX is. Everyone just uses DX as like this new way to justify things. 774 job postings for a programming language. You don't want to main in that. You don't want to invest all your talent points into this. But the next one is Golang, which as you know, if you watched our channel before, we love Go a lot. I use Go all the time. How many Golang jobs are available? All right, so Go developer, we have 3,609 jobs. Yikes. People are going to be like, Melky, why have you been telling me to learn Golang if there's no jobs available for it? 
So this is a bit of a surprise. I think with Golang, it's still fairly new. And I think there's still going to be a lot of companies that have Java, even Ruby, you know, that don't want to make that move to Go or Golang, even though I think this number is going to increase. And I'll make a separate video if you guys want me to. I think the number here for Golang, Rust, even Colin are on the rise. Well, I think the numbers for, you know, PHP, Java, we'll see those decrease. And I'll make a hot take here. I think in the not so distant future, we'll see the numbers for JavaScript and python also go down but i don't want to get too ahead of myself let's continue on with rust man last time i pissed off the rust developers i had a bunch of subpoenas i still haven't attended to 567 jobs for rust developers <laughs> All right, and then last and last place, the person who we added late, I expect this one to be higher, higher than, not as high as C-sharp, JavaScript, Python, but fourth place. Oh my, 19,123 jobs for Java developers. King of Prussia, this is crazy. It just blasted to first place. Now, I should put an asterisk here because I don't know if Java, if the search term here will encompass JavaScript world. Java developer, Java developer, doesn't look like it. Nah, this looks legit. This is, go, go Java, do your thing. All right, so I went ahead and I ranked these languages. Java's in first, Python is in second. That's a very close. I mean, that's that's like 11 posting difference between the two. Then we got C Sharp and then we have JavaScript. I'm surprised JavaScript came fourth, to be honest. I thought it would easily be top two, if not top one, but this is why we do these videos, to learn and discover something new. The, the bottom four, I guess, with PHP, Kotlin, Go, Rust. So what I want to say here is learning one of these four languages is going to be extremely beneficial. Learning Java right now, based on these numbers, will have the highest probability of job openings. However, Java is Java. There's so many memes made about Java. I don't think necessarily Java is going anywhere, but I think slowly, very slowly, extremely slowly, we'll see more and more companies adopt different languages for their backend, not just rely on Java, which again, long-term vision, I think Go and Rust are the right place here. But short term, this awful market, yes, Java, Python, C Sharp, JavaScript are the ways to go. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know if anything shocks you in the comment section below. Which language do you want to learn? I gotta let you guys off with two things. One, should I do this again with other languages? Can I find eight more languages to rank on? How many job postings are there? But two, you gotta power.